Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast, a podcast where we have conversations on how Black women navigate through life and education. I'm your host, Makita Marine. I'm a life coach, a strategic consultant. In this safe space and in this podcast, we have conversations on how we balance and navigate through life, education, corporate America, entrepreneurship, motherhood, love, just so many topics. It's just endless. Please join us for the Black Educated Tea Podcast so you can be a part of these magnificent conversations. Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Makita Marie. And today's episode is a continuation from plenty of emails and phone calls and questions that I was getting just about nonprofits. But before we get into the episode, as always, I got to talk about the tea that we are drinking for today. So the tea that we're drinking for today is simply a peppermint tea. Peppermint teas are good throughout the day. They have a really sweet taste and aroma. So I always love my peppermint teas. And this is what I'm drinking today. I didn't add any honey, any sweetener, or anything to it. It's just straight peppermint water. That's all I'm drinking today. And it's really good. And it really helps your stomach as well. So if you're having some stomach issues or if you're eating something that's really just got your stomach a little upset, Peppermint tea is always good for that. And it's also good when you're trying to go to bed at night. So at times when I can't sleep or I've just had a long day and I'm just kind of restless, I'll drink some peppermint tea and it really helps me relax and to go to sleep. So that's what I'm drinking today, peppermint tea. So I want to go ahead and get into the questions and the comments and the emails that I got. So in a previous episode, we just really touched on nonprofits a little bit. We didn't go into details about it. But there are so many people that reached out to me and they was like, how, what is the steps? Um, What should I do if I want to start a nonprofit? And what I tell everyone is being a business consultant that has helped plenty of people start their nonprofits, their business, whatever it is, I always tell people to ask themselves why. Why do you want to start a nonprofit? Are you looking to provide a service to the community? Is there someone in need and you want to help them? What are you doing? starting this nonprofit for why why do you want to start this nonprofit or is it a fulfillment for the community is also a fulfillment for yourself what is your reasoning for wanting to start your nonprofit so once you ask yourself the why then next you go to the how how do I start my nonprofit that's where I can come in at but you don't have to you know use my services but I'm really good at what I do I'm going to give myself props on that but Find someone that's really done this before that can really be helpful in helping you to start your nonprofit. Someone that's going to take you through the whole process step by step and help you understand what all it requires to start your nonprofit. So what I usually do with my clients, we go through step by step. So from day one, I am there. I'm holding their hand through the whole process. I'm taking them through every step no matter what it is, from just something as simple as an EIN to when it's time to get the 501c3 and everything else that's in between. So I'm taking them through a step-by-step process on helping them on how to start their nonprofit. And another question I get so much is, I just don't have the funds right now. I really want to do it, but my funds are just not where it should be, and it may be a little costly to start my nonprofit. So how can I go about it if my funds are limited? Well, that's simple. Do the things that are free with a nonprofit or with any business. Do what is free. And the things that are free is getting your thoughts together, getting your ideas together. Even so much as applying for EIN, that is free. So you can do those free things. And before you know it, you are three months, you are six months in. Once you didn't gather your team, your support, apply for your EIN, And just come up with a simple little business plan that you can create on your own. Before you know it, three to six months later. And if you put $25 to the side, it is not really that expensive to start a nonprofit. So put $25 to the side bi-weekly every month. And let that just calculate. Before you know it, you will have the money that you need to apply for your 501c3 and for your state filings. Because that is really all you need to be established as a nonprofit. There is not a lot of money that really goes into it when you're trying to start. So do not worry about the funds. Get your ideas. Get your support together first, and the funds will come. Just go ahead and claim it. The funds will come. So another question that I get, once my nonprofit is established, 
I have my 501c3. How do I go about funding my services? Or how do I go about getting grants? There are so many different grants out here. The money is out here. But what you have to know is what you really want to do. If you want to start a nonprofit daycare where you're providing daycare services for family, family with limited services, then those are the particular grants that we will look for. If you want to provide a nonprofit where you're providing transportation to those who are lacking transportation or just don't have the funds, then we will look for grants that are situated on transportation. A lot of mistakes that people make is when they're looking for grants, they look for grants that have absolutely nothing to do with their nonprofit. So in that case, you're making it difficult to find the grants. So know what you want to do, stick with it, and look, and we can find those grants that are suitable for your business. And starting a nonprofit, it is a really refreshing thing, I would say. Being a nonprofit business owner myself, I love it. It gets me into the community. It gets me with other nonprofits so we can all work together as one. And I just enjoy helping others as well. Seeing the process from the beginning to the end, to the point where they now have their business and they're helping others, I just love to get to that point. So if you want to start a nonprofit, this is the year. 2022 is the year that you start your nonprofit. And there are many resources out here. I'm a resource. If there's someone, a close family, a friend, or if you just want to use another company or business, find a resource that's really going to be good for you to help you during that process. Don't be afraid to ask the questions. No question is a stupid question. Just ask the question, whatever question you have. I'm open. If you have any question that you want to ask me, you can go to porterconsultinggroup.com. Send your questions there. I am open to answering any question that you have on your nonprofit. Um, nonprofit is a passion of mine. I've been doing it for 10 plus years now. And anybody I come in contact with when I'm helping them with their nonprofit and just to see their path and see their journey and to see that I have so many clients that I have worked with over the years and where they are at now, it just really is rejoicing. So reach out, ask the questions if you need any assistance with your nonprofit. Just go for it. This is the year. You do your nonprofit, get your support team, ask yourself those questions, get your thoughts together. Don't worry about the funds. The funds will come. This is the Porter Consulting Group coming to you for the Black Educated Tea Podcast.